What is a geotag? When you store your photos on a digital device, you store them in folders or albums grouped normally by a specific name, maybe one for holidays, one for parties, or even one for selfies. But imagine instead of a folder structure ordered by name, a folder structure ordered by a place. Think of a map of the world and how you can see all the photos that were taken in the different parts of the world. Then you zoom in and see the photos that you took in the different parts of the country. And then you zoom in even further and see the photos that were taken from the different parts of your own city or town. Now this is possible because of something called a geotag. A geotag is a piece of location data embedded in a digital file, like a photo, video or social media post. It usually contains the GPS coordinates, the latitude and longitude, and sometimes additional details like the place name or a timestamp. They work by using your device's GPS or global positioning system, the Wi-Fi networks you're connected to, and your mobile network to determine your exact location when you take a picture or make a post. And this information is automatically recorded and placed in the metadata of the item. Social media apps like Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook allow users to tag their location whenever they make a post. Smartphones and digital cameras record where a photo was taken. Google Maps and Apple Maps use geotags for directions. Companies use geotags to track customer trends. And geotags even help emergency services find people in distress. A popular hobby by some is geocaching. This is an outdoor treasure hunt where people use GPS devices to find hidden containers or markers in their area. They go to a geocaching website and find the geotag of the hidden treasure nearby in the form of a location pin or geotagged image and then they start their adventure to find the item. Geotags can help to know where a photo was taken, to retrace your steps and to find a specific location. But geotags are not as popular as they are originally thought to be because they come with privacy and security risks. They can reveal your personal locations like your home, school or workplace just from the photos you post online. Cyber criminals could track your movements and use that information for scams or even break-ins. And posting real-time geotag content can make you vulnerable to stalking or identity theft. Some game reserves require you to hand in your phone and have the settings changed because if you post a photo online with a rhino or an elephant for example, then poachers could use that information to find them. So that's why it's very important to know about what settings you have enabled and how to control what information you are making public. In your phone settings, you can disable or turn off location services for apps that don't need it. This includes your camera. That way, photos will not have the geotag inserted when taking photos. You can also check privacy settings on social media to control who can see your location. Probably best not to post your real-time location. Rather, post about the event after it has happened. Telling the world where you are at the moment is not only dangerous for you because you are advertising where you are, but you are also advertising where you are not. For example, maybe your home is vulnerable to a robbery if they know you are away on holiday. If you have already taken photos with the location setting on, then you can get software that can remove the geotags from photos that you want to share online. It's also important to respect others' privacy, so don't tag your friends and family's location. Geotags are a great idea, but unfortunately, people have exploited them. By being aware of how they work and taking some precautions, you can avoid the risks while enjoying the benefits of location-based technology, as long as it's on your terms. Besides, I'm sure people don't need to know where I took my selfie. They just need to see my beautiful face. To help us create more videos on computer terms that can help you, please become a subscriber. Also, follow us on TikTok at Miss Learning Education and share us with your friends so we can help them. We also have some videos on our YouTube channel for at Miss Long IT and Cat. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.